hey guys welcome back again to the channel i trust that you all are off for a great start anyways my name is precious for those who are just seeing this very lovely face for the first time my name is precious and on this space or on this channel i film about lifestyle relationship food marriage faith migration if you consider this as a kind of content you love please do well to subscribe but don't forget to turn on that bell just so each time i make any video you will always be the first to get notified without much ado let's just jump right into today's topic hey loves welcome back to the channel my name is precious so guys there are so many things or rather just very few things i think i'm going to mention even if i know that there are so many but these few ones which i said i was going to put out if you are one of those people who belong to any of these classes that i'm going to mention please do well do well to drop it this 2024 i know we've gone past the month with we've gone past the year with about a month as at the time i'm shooting this um video but if you belong to any of these classes or any of the class i'm going to be mentioning please do better this year so in this 2024 i want many of us to drop so many things that we carried from 2023 into the new year and the first on my list is body shaming people if you belong to those people who see people and say ah you're very fat ah look at your cheeks i was in the office when i resumed this year and somebody looked at me and said precious just look at how fat your cheeks is i mean how is that your business did i tell you i don't have a mirror in my house did i tell you that my siblings don't tell me did i tell you that my that my husband is not my mirror i mean if i didn't if like let's be very gracious with our words even if at all you want to like tell somebody that they are fat you can even sweetly or swiftly tell that person but if that person doesn't seek your your, opi your opinion please swallow it swallow it because what even really pisses me off is that even people that tell you that oh you've added there's both of you are not even close i mean there are, there's no existing or coexisting relationship between you and the person that's telling you oh you've added so much weight please drop it in 2023 this is a new year do better the second on my list is those womb watchers the ones who tell you oh it's about one year two years three years of your marriage don't you want to have children drop that drop it who told you that people who are expecting otitis don't want to have children because you don't even know i think i've said it or i've mentioned it on this channel before you don't even know how many times they've cried you don't know how many um hospital visits that they've had it is just so rude to tell somebody when are you going to have children when that person has a child or children you will definitely see because pregnancy is not something that they hide for long drop it drop it with indirect effect now the third on my list will be people that um go online and start abusing people maybe because they don't share the same opinion with you Yes, we live in a world where you are free to air your opinion. But even while whilst doing that, you can do it healthily. Like if somebody puts out a content and you, you disagree with that content, it's fine. But you really don't have to start abusing people in the comment section. You can see somebody, for, for example, this um, Tiwi, or rather Moses Bliss and um, the wife. And somebody was saying, hey, look at the way she was dancing Skelewu style. She's not Christian-like. Excuse you. How do you know? Do you live with her? Please drop that. Drop it. Like, drop it. I see this. I, like, I see these things online and I'm like, what's the correlation? You can have a, you can drop your comment even if you don't agree with the commenter or rather with the person who posted whatever you commented on. It's, I mean, you are free to your own opinion. You are free to your own perspective but you don't have to do that whilst abusing people in the comment section most most of the time don't even know these persons or these people please drop that in 2020 in 2023 now let's go to fashion <laughs> i don't want to call a particular tribe that i usually see this fashion trend with but if you are putting on biker shorts or leg or leggings yeah Biker shorts or leggings, and you know that you are you are very curvy. Like you are very curvy. Who are you trying to say this? If you know you cannot wear like a long shirt that covers your bum a little, not more like like a little, because I mean, when I see some all these 
wardrobe malfunction and i'm like anyways if you belong to that class do better this year do better this year and then let's now go to corset hmm corset tormented us from two years ago to last year up until people's wedding gowns like you don't have to start showing your boobs and everything but like your cleavage pops up and that you you will find it difficult to breathe i'm not saying corset is bad but let's be more aesthetically no should i use the word aesthetically but let it be more physically pleasing okay you don't have to put on a cloth that you're not comfortable in and you want to enter the car you are you have to squeeze yourself in when you want to come out you squeeze yourself out ah and see take it easy breathe breathe please drop that in 2023 all you tell us all you tell us please advise your customers please i know that you just want to do it for them to take your money but i beg i beg we have seen a, enough breast of for, for 2023 i saw in i saw enough breast i saw enough fat coming out from their arms and their back please 2024 let's do better now let's go to hairstyling I watched I am Yechi's video and I was just laughing. You see this baby hair that is M. M. That thing is very irritating. That thing is very disgusting. You have you can do baby hair, but it doesn't have to be that M whatever. Please drop it in 2023. Okay? You can style your hair beautifully well, but you see this thing that will come here and here and <laughs> Do you want to draw the mark of the mark of Nigeria? I don't understand. Do you want to? Are you drawing the mark of Nigeria on your head? Please, I beg, I beg, drop it. Secondly, you, there's there's some kind of hair that I'll see, very strong hairs, and I'm like, ah, uh -uh. is it that there's no hair oil in your, in your, I mean, closet that you cannot oil your hair? Please, this year everybody has to beautifully well this year, okay? Now. Let's go to relationships. I've been seeing so many write-ups on hey, ask these ladies what they bring to the table. Ask these ladies what they bring to the table. Men, what do you guys bring to the table also? What do you bring to the table? Like Ayamichi said, there's some people that don't even have a table. So please, drop that in 2023. Now, when people say, what do you bring to the table? What do you bring to the table? I've said it before. You don't have to bring financial whatever to the table. You can bring to the table advice. You can bring to the table um, a, a shoulder to lean on. But there's a saying that, <laughs> say I tell you, say make you lean on my shoulder, no means say make you press me die. You understand? I mean, you can. there can be advice. There are, there are so many things a lady brings to the table. So all this, what do you bring to the table? What do you bring to the table? Please. You are already living in a very patriarchal, patriarchal world. I mean, if that's already hard enough. So please drop that in 2023. This is a new year. This is a new dawn. Let us do better. Let us do better. Okay? So this is just the few things I have said, or rather I have seen, and I just thought, to, you know what, come make this video that, please, I don't want to be seeing any of these things on my feeds, on Instagram, on Facebook, and all of those things. Let's do better. Let's do better in this 2024, all right? So until I come away again next time, please keep being you. Signing out. Bye.